A few kings after Jehoshaphat, we have Athaliah. Athaliah was the mother of Ahaziah. Ahaziah, he reigned for a while in the stead of the king that followed Jehoshaphat, a while being like a year. And then when he was killed, Athaliah killed off anybody who could possibly take the throne, Athaliah being the mother of the king Ahaz Ahaziah. And she did that so that she could assume power. Believe it or not, there was a queen of Israel for a little while. I'm asking what this spiritually represents. Why did the Lord allow for that to happen? In fact, why did the Lord orchestrate that to happen? What does it represent? So in our hearts, we have a temple. Our bodies themselves are a temple. In fact, there's a word, hekal, in Hebrew. And this word can mean both temple or palace. God uses this in several uh, scripture verses, including uh, somewhere in Amos 8. And it's the idea that he's getting across here, one of the many ideas that he's getting across here, is that if the king is doing it right, then his palace is not just a palace. It's a temple also. What does a king have? A king has great authority, great power to use to serve God and others, yes? So what does that represent spiritually? That represents us as individuals. It can represent other things spiritually too, but in individually it represents us because we have authority over our bodies. We have the free will to make the choices we want to make, whether they are to destruction or to life. That word, hey, call, kind of also represents our bodies. Because we are the king of our bodies, we can also choose, if we want, to be the priest of our own bodies. We live in a time right now where most people are being their own gods. They're doing what they feel, what they want, and not sacrificing their wants and needs for the Savior's wants and needs. All of this to say exactly what the Athaliah situation represents. We as men, whether male or female, we are as a woman. To the Lord. He is the husband and we are the wife. That makes him the king and the high priest. Athaliah killing all of those people and forcing her way into power shows that the Lord will allow us to take authority, even the authority that belongs to him, over our own bodies. Instead, we're supposed to say, even if the throne is wide open for us to waltz up into it and take it, we are supposed to submit to our husband, who is both a king and a high priest. Furthermore, he has shown us through several ways that he is more than capable of handling that responsibility. And history has shown time and time again that there is not a single human being out there that has the ability to take that authority and wield it well for themselves, let alone for other people.